Is the luxury auto market about to be transformed by Google Glass? Word came out recently that Mercedes-Benz has been experimenting with the new technology. For a closer look, we are joined by Johan Youngworth, President and CEO of Mercedes-Benz Research and Development for North America, who joins us via Skype from Palo Alto. JJ, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So how can Google Glass be incorporated into luxury automobiles? So in multiple ways, actually, and uh, I think the primary use case uh, we see is for the first time, really kind of a world premiere, is a door-to-door -door navigation, we call it. So really, you know, at any point, wherever you are, and you have your Google Glass on, and actually I, I have it here right with me, and you put it on, uh, you do, you know, uh, search for a uh, place you want to go to, and, uh, you know, whether it's a restaurant, to go to lunch, or, you know, whether it's another point of interest or an address, you know, you're planning to uh, uh, go to. Basically, you search for that location with Google Glass and uh, uh, start that route guidance. And then um, what we envision to do, and we have prototyped this already, and we have it actually running uh, downstairs in our auto lab, um, that Google Glass will, on the one hand, uh, lead you to your car. So we have integrated basically a car finder feature. So just in case you forgot where your car is parked, Google Glass can basically, you know, use its um, pedestrian navigation to lead you to your car. And then the final destination is transitioned to your car navigation system. And, uh, uh, you know, it takes you basically as a route guidance uh, to the parking lot uh, next to the location you want to drive to. And then we hand over to Google Glass again for this final last mile uh, navigation to bring you to the door of the place you want to drive to. So overall, a door-to-door -door navigation, including basically a car finder. <laughs> that, that car finder aspect would prevent a whole Seinfeld episode. But would you have to wear the Google Glass? I, I see that you're wearing it. So you would be wearing it the whole time you're driving it. Is that correct? Oh, actually, no. So I, no, that is uh, not correct. So uh, that is actually one of the uh, primary, let's say, kind of unique selling propositions that um, Google Glass, uh, you know, is transferring the destination to your onboard navigation system as you get into the car. So we expect actually consumers and our customers, you know, Mercedes-Benz customers, AMG customers, not to wear Google Glass while driving. I also see this actually as a, you know, a potential uh, distraction. And in that regards, actually, that is let's say, the, the seamless transition, you know, from Google Glass while you're outside the car and then, you know, basically the onboard system and it could be a smartphone-based solution like our digital drive style app or DriveKit Plus or it could be the onboard, you know, command online in Mercedes-Benz cars which then takes over for the route guidance while you're in the car and then uh, when you reach the parking lot basically and you put your Google Glass on, get out of the car, then we transition back and do this soft, you know, and seamless uh, handover to Google Glass uh, for the final mile or the last uh, feet or meters, basically, to your final, you know, shop in the in the shopping mall or whatever the final destination or address is. How yes? long will it take before people actually be able will be able to use this technology? So, uh, I mean, first of all, Google Glass would have to be, uh, you know, um, available mm -hmm. for uh, consumers. So. Um, we are waiting eagerly. I mean, we have two Google Glass explorers here, and that's what we are using to develop uh, the um, you know solution. So as soon as Google Glass is out, you know, we think we can be ready, uh, you know, soon after that. So we'll talk more, you know, as Google Glass gets launched. Well, that's some, something to watch for, and it'll be interesting to see how much easier that makes it for people to drive, or how much uh, that, that might add to the complexity of driving these days. Thanks a lot for yeah. coming on, JJ. You're very welcome. Thank you for the interest. This has been Digits. I'm George Stahl.